Hey, welcome back guys, this is Carty Fox, and today I'm here with MCC DD101. Now he commissioned this Australian train, the Sydney Trains B-Set Waratah Trains. Now this operates in Sydney, New South Wales, Australia, manufactured by the Changchun Railway Vehicles for Downer EDI, and these comes in bi-levels, it's an eight car train set. So it's basically four different cars that repeats itself in the middle. And each car is 30 blocks long, excluding the couplers, including the lead car. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it, and let's begin the tutorial. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do, we're going to actually build one of these middle cars. Um, since they're all similar basis, including the lead car. So let's grab some materials. We'll take out polish andesite. Polish andesite slab. An acacia slab. Acacia button. Birch button. Gray terracotta hopper, uh, dark oak fence gate. What else? Another brick slab, and we also need to take out this black concrete. All right. So each of these cars is going to be thirty blocks long, including the lead car, and we're not including these gangways and the coupler. So first off, we'd go right over here, build this second car. And so we're going to go above the tracks, two blocks, add black concrete. And I'm going to make it 30 blocks long. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Alright, that's how long the car is going to be. Alright, so we're going to go down here. Add in another brick slab, polish and a site slab. Then we'll add polish and a site block. Um, we're going to make it two blocks wide here. And we're going to make this outer edge five blocks long. So one, two, three, four, five. Four blocks tall. One, two, three, four. Then we'll go on this inner part, add in four polish and a site blocks with nether brick slabs in the front of it. Then we'll add in black concrete on the edge. Three black concretes inside. Top row, we're going to add in four polished andesite blocks with nether brick slabs in front. Then we'll go down at the bottom and we'll skip, uh, I guess, a block away from the slab and add in the gray terracotta. And then skip two blocks, add another one. Then we'll add in uh, two dark oak fence gates. Side and actually, yeah, two, like that. Alright, so next thing we're going to do, we're going to add black concrete inside. And it goes all the way to that polished end site right there. Then we'll actually take out yellow concrete. We're going to add two here. And then make a 2x2 two two on the outer edge, and another 2 inside. Add in polished andesite slabs in the front of that. Both areas. And then 3 blocks tall polished andesite. And then a polished andesite stairs. Black concrete inside like that. Then at the top, we'll add in a polished andesite stairs. Skip a block, add another one. In the middle of this, we'll add in this polished blackstone brick stairs. And we'll add in another two on the inside. And then two polished blackstone blocks in the middle. Then we're going to add in polished andesite block, two blocks wide there. And we're going to make this go all the way to the edge. Like that. Then we'll take out stone brick stairs and we're going to make a line across all the way across the side here. Like that. Alright, then we'll add in um, hoppers to the sides of these wheels. Um, make an L shape of nether brick slab like that. And a dark oak fence gate in this little nook that's going to be facing towards the end. In the inside part, we'll add in nether brick slabs. 
Next, we'll add to this edge here, another brick slab here, and then two dark oak fence gates. Then smooth stone slabs, two blocks wide there. On this outer edge, we're gonna make this go all the way to the top of that slab. And we're gonna go diagonally in, add in another two like so. All right. Then we're going to add in um, iron trap door. Going to be two blocks here on the outer edge. Uh, another one here next to that fence gate. Then we'll add in um, polish and a site block. Going to make it two blocks wide here, and then polish and a site stairs, like so. And now we can add in these door banners. So. For the banner, we'll just make a loom first. Take a black banner with yellow dye. Put that inside our loom. And we're going to make a border around it. And I think that's pretty much it. And we'll just stick this two blocks like that right to the side so we got our nice doors. Then we'll add in uh, this warped button next to the door on the right hand side of it and then we'll add in two stone buttons right down here spaced apart and then we'll add in a black glass two blocks wide and then a dark oak trap door right in this nook I'm gonna open up that trap door like so next we'll take out black concrete we're gonna make a two blocks tall like that and then we'll add in an upside down nether brick stairs with a polish and a site block inside of it. Then we'll add in two more polish and a site blocks at the bottom. And then two polish and a site stairs underneath like that. Then we'll add in uh, this polish and a site um, slab that's going to be Let's say five blocks long, so one, two, three, four, five, like that. And we'll add in polish and a site block on top. And black concrete right behind this slab. Alrighty. And next, we'll add in polish and a site stairs. We're gonna make this go all the way to this edge here. We just made and I think we're going to extend this, so yeah, we're going to extend this by two, so extend this two blocks. Extend the black concrete two blocks and this uh, stairs. Two blocks like that. All right, as for the roof, we'll add in stone brick blocks, two blocks wide. And I'm going to make this go all the way to where we added the other blocks like that. And we'll add in polish and side stairs all the way across so it lines up as well. All right, very cool. And then the inner part of this, we'll add in a black concrete all the way across, like so. And then we'll also go on the inside of this, add in the black concrete in the inner floor all the way across like that. And then we also have to delete this polish and side block. This is not supposed to be there. All right, so yeah, that's it for this half. So to copy what we did on this side and build it on the other half. So remember again, this is where the gangway is. So you don't really count that as the full block. So you just build it again, go right over here on this outer edge, and then just do the same thing. And you don't even have to watch the tutorial again. You can literally just go over here, watch what you built here and build it on the other half. All right, so once we have both halves, it looks like this. And now, uh, since this car is 30 blocks long, so it's an even number, uh, the window is not going to be exactly in the middle. So you'll see on this side, there's like another black concrete, while the other side, there's just glass here. So it's just offset by one. So if you put it one way, it doesn't really matter uh, too much. It's either one or the other. So we're going to go right over here, add a black concrete right there. Skip two blocks, add another one, skip two blocks, and keep on doing that till we reach the other side. Add in black glass in between. 
So each of these windows should be two blocks wide. And then we'll go underneath and add in windows at the bottom. They should align up with the top ones. And then we'll add in black concrete in between each of them like so. All right, so after we've done that, we're gonna build the other side, just make us symmetrical on the other half. All right, so once we have both sides, looks like this. Then we'll go onto this side, add in a polished blackstone button next to the door right there. Go on the other side, add in the polished blackstone button right there. And then we'll add in the logo in the middle. So go to the middle and then you'll find this bar here. And we'll add in a birch button in the middle and a casia button next to it on the right. And then the front, delete this block, add in polished anisite inside. And then an acacia slab like that, and then two acacia slabs at the bottom like so. And we'll do the same thing, just the other direction on the other side. So add in birch button, lines up the pillar, acacia button on the right, acacia slab right here on the left with a polished anisite block inside, and then two acacia slabs underneath the buttons. So that's our nice logo there on the side. All right, so that's pretty much it for the base car. Now I'm gonna make some copies of it. Of course, we'll need another one right here in the front for the leading car. Or you can transform this car if you want to. It doesn't really matter too much. And then we'll add in one, two, two more of these cars behind it. And then we'll have a four car formation. All right, so once we have the four car formation, what we're gonna do is we're gonna add in the pantographs. Now the pantograph in the lead car and like the intermediate car, they are quite the same, uh, just the other direction. So I'll show you how to do it in one and then you'll build it on the other one. So let's first work on the first car, the lead car. So we're gonna go to this section over here and then we're gonna skip these two stone brick stairs and delete four of the next blocks and we'll delete the hole inside like that four blocks wide and the inside of this will add in polish anisite blocks like so then we'll take out polish anisite stairs and add in a row of five here then we'll add in polish anisite slab three blocks like that side same thing then we'll add in smooth quartz slab on the outer edge here, a dark oak fence gate, a polished blackstone brick slab, and that's going to be diagonally up, another dark oak fence gate with a dark oak trap door above it. From that, we'll add in a row of three dark oak fence gates. And then a row of three dark oak trap doors. And we'll open up the fence gates. So the middle one's gonna face towards the trap door while the other one's face towards the other trap door. And then we'll add in birch fence gates on the sides of these trap doors and open them up. I am crouching to place them. All right, so yeah, that's it for this uh, pantograph. Not the most complex of designs, and we'll build another one on the fourth car, which is the one over here. So you're just going to build it just the other way, so just skip these two stone brick stairs, and then make a four block hole here. And you would just build it once again, just the other direction. Just polish and sight stairs like that. Build it inside in, polish and sight, and you should know the rest. All right, so once you added the pantograph to the fourth car, it should look like this. And now what we're gonna do, um, let's go to the first car again, the lead car. And what we're gonna do, we have to delete this gangway here. Don't need that here. All of it like that. And then we'll um, skip these two stone brick stairs and delete the rest in the front, like that. And we might as well delete everything underneath, just uh, above that, um, the hopper, I guess, where the wheels are, the bogies. 
Just delete all of this. We don't need that anymore. Okay. And you might as well delete this front area as well. Everything in front like that. So we're left with this. And then we'll also delete uh, these two blocks here. Uh, these two blocks here, other side, same thing. Okay. All right. Then we'll add in on top dark oak trapdoors on either side with a gray carpet in the middle. Then a row of three nether brick stairs and acacia stairs on the edges. Then we'll add in an L shape of black concrete, upside down and backwards. Then we'll add in a nether brick wall inside here, polish and site block inside, and then an upside down nether brick stairs facing towards the back. Do the same thing on the other side. And the wall here in the corner. And then we'll take out orange concrete. We're going to make um, three blocks long here and another two at the bottom. Other side, we'll do the same thing. And we'll delete this polish and a site block here and add in an upside down acacia stairs like that with a birch fence gate underneath it. We'll just replace that other fence gate that we placed before. Then we'll add in a black stained glass block. It's going to be four or five blocks wide. Way across like that. And add in an acacia fence on the edges. In the middle, it's going to be three blocks wide of this polished black stone slab. And then go on the inside, we'll delete this polished anisite block. And add in a row of three black concretes in this bottom area. You can delete this polish and a site block. You don't actually need it. And that other block that was there. <laughs> then we'll add in a row of three black conc I mean black glass right there. Right behind those slabs. And we'll add in a diorite wall in this corner. Three blocks wide, orange concrete in the middle. Uh, yellow, I mean orange glass panes on the edges. And then a nether brick fence and a dark oak fence. And then a lever. Very interesting train. It has like three windshield panels here. And then we'll add in the middle black concrete. With upside down nether brick stairs on either side. Then the inside of that, we'll add in a polish andesite block. And polish andesite block on the outer edge. Same thing on this side. Then we'll add in polish andesite stairs. Two blocks along, and the front's going to be cornered. Follow that up with a row of three blackstone brick slabs underneath and then polish andesite slabs at the bottom in the front. In the middle is going to be a coupler which is a polished blackstone brick slab like that. Now we'll take out some buttons, a acacia button, a birch button, uh, also a stone button, a spruce button, a dark oak button, a lot of buttons. The wart button. Alrighty, so let's add in acacia button here, birch button on the other side, a birch button here, and then acacia button, and then birch button other side, birch button, acacia, birch. And then at the top, this could be a wart button, skip a block, dark oak button, other side, same thing. And then at the top, there's going to be spruce button, stone button. So spruce and then stone. And then we'll move this uh, wart button that could be moved to the other side of the doorway with a black stone button underneath it. And we'll do this on the other side. Just move up that uh, wart button like that. Alright, so after we've done that, we're going to have to go 
back of this, delete this warp button on this side. And this side. Since the warp button, that's like the car number. And uh, we already have one right over here. And actually, wait a minute, I put the wrong button here. This is supposed to be a Blackstone button. Alright, so after we have that, I think that's pretty much it for the lead car. And for the next car, the second car, there's like a special vent here. And um, that's going to be bedrock. Just make it uh, four blocks long like that, both sides. I don't know why that's there, but it is there when I looked at a video. And then we'll go to the third car. And we'll have to add in that blackstone button right over here in this nook. And then delete it from the other side. And then this side here, we'll move it as well. So remove this blockstone button, move it to um, that doorway there. All right, so next, the fourth and last car. Uh, let's check that out. It's going to be the blockstone button underneath the warp button here. And then this side, it's going to be the warp buttons over this blackstone button. And yeah, that actually should be pretty much it on how to build uh, all the four cars. Now what you're going to do, you're pretty much going to build all these cars the same way, just in the opposite direction, facing that way. So just build all this again over there. <laughs> Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it on how to build the Sydney Trains V-Set for the Waratah Trains operating in Sydney, Australia. Been a while since I've done an Australian train. And thanks to MCCDD101 for commissions built and making this video possible. If you guys are interested in commissioning builds, you guys should ch come to my live streams. I do it every Saturday and uh, you can commission by uh, doing a super chat. And the prices are listed in the description. Uh, in that live stream. Hit the like button down below. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.